Hey guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked. Um, it is nearing the end of 2022, so I woke up this morning, thought to myself, probably a good time to shoot a wrap-up video for the year, talk about where we're going to be going next year. Um, this is something I don't think I did last year, but I figured it makes a lot of sense, so might as well just get it out there. Um, I don't have an outline for this video. Did jot some notes in front of me here, so I'll try to keep myself on track to an extent. This just be a lot of rambling, and I'll try to keep it kind of concise. So basically last year, or not last year, but this year, 2022, we saw a lot of shifts in blogging and web publishing. So we saw all these algorithm updates come out, seemed like they were at a more frequent pace and more impactful. Um, I don't know if they actually were more frequent or not because in the past Google simply didn't announce all these updates, but this year they've announced a lot of updates. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. They're kind of telling us the things that they want us to do. So in some ways that's more helpful, um, but the impact does seem to be higher this year than it has in the past. So that we obviously don't like. Um, we've seen some really um, legitimate sites get hit, including our sites. We've taken small hits on our sites, a big hit on our uh, case study site as well. So that's not something we like to see, and that's probably going to continue going forward. Um, on top of that, we have AI sites um, really taking a foothold this year where you have sites generating content, thousands of pages overnight. Um, and a lot of those sites do get hit with these updates, so that's good. Um, but they're still competitors, and they could get worse going forward, especially now that you have ChatGPT which is really taking AI to the next level. So that's going to be interesting to see where that takes us, where that takes our industry as a whole. Um, and then on top of that, we have the lower RPMs due to the worsening economy in the United States, especially. So we make most of our money from display ads. Um, so the United States obviously is a big player in that as far as being the highest revenue source. And the RPMs have definitely taken a hit this year versus previous years. Um, and that's probably going to continue going to 2023. Um, just looking at our RPMs in December, we definitely took a pretty big hit there. Um, November, we were down a little bit in RPMs, but December, we've seen a bigger hit. And I think that's probably what we're going to see going forward into January. Um, a couple of our sites over the last few days, right around Christmas here, um, were around $20 RPMs with Mediavine. I don't think we've seen levels that low for the entire year for our sites. So definitely curious to see where that takes us into 2023, but I'm expecting that to be lower. Um, so with all that being said, you basically have two options here. It's not a clear cut path for most people. Um, something you really have to give a lot of thought to. But basically, one option is you either um, don't start or you give up. So depending on if you already have a site or not. So if you already have a site, you can simply give up. Um, if you don't want to deal with the volatility, um, if you're afraid of getting started, obviously you don't have to start at all. Um, this is not going to be something as clear cut as a day job. So there's going to be a lot of volatility here, obviously, um, as there always has been. Um, and then on the other side of the fence there is just changing and adapting to everything that we've talked about here. So that's the path that we are going to take, of course. We're not going to give up. Um, we have a pretty good, solid foundation of sites, so we are going to adapt. Um, that's what I'm going to talk about in this uh, video here. So one thing to keep in mind, in the past, we've had a lot of major shifts in um, blogging and web publishing. So you've had the whole thing where you could build backlinks, um, just tons of backlinks to a site and get those sites to rank overnight. And to an extent, obviously, that still works today. But there was an update or series of updates at one point in time where that really shifted the industry significantly. A lot of people gave up at that point in time. You had the whole thing with keyword stuffing where um, you could get pages to rank really easily by doing keyword stuffing and then Google you know, adjusted their algorithms again. And now that stops working overnight. Again, lots of people giving up and uh, moving on to something else at that point. You also had the thing with feature snippets where all of a sudden you have feature snippets and people think you can't get traffic to your site anymore because Google doesn't keep everything on their site. And that's definitely an issue to an extent, but we still do get a lot of traffic to our sites, right? Um, then you had voice search as well, which so far has not been a big issue. Uh, my point is every time one of these shifts happens in our industry, people give up. Lots of people give up and that creates opportunities for somebody else. The people that don't give up, the people that adapt, you can look at that as an opportunity Yes, you have to change your strategy a little bit, but that doesn't mean that um, this is just gonna stop working for everybody across the board. So the direction that we're gonna go, and if you are on our email list, you would already kind of see this. Um, I sent out a couple of emails over the last couple of weeks. Um, if you are not on our email list, go ahead and subscribe to that. I try to send these emails out at least a couple times a month or whatever, um, but I talked about our strategy going forward. Um, and basically that's gonna be to create um, authority and brands. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be narrowing our focus down to just three of our sites. So we have six sites currently. We had plans to start two new sites. Uh, I'd mentioned that in our previous videos. We're putting that on hold still. I don't think we're gonna start another site this year or in uh, 2023, I really don't. Um, even though we have ideas for them, 
I think it's to make a lot more sense for us and for a lot of people to actually narrow their focus and not keep building sites. So what we're going to be doing is focusing on our three biggest sites. So that's going to be in our income reports, you see site number one, site number two, and then my backyard life. So those are the three sites we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on building authority, um, basically trying to turn those sites into brands. So for our other three sites, we're going to keep publishing, but we're going to probably lower the publishing frequency and we're not going to do anything above and beyond. We're just going to publish content. We'll add images, we will add internal links, and that's about it. Uh, we're not gonna do any of these other things that I'm gonna talk about. Um, so one of the things that we are gonna do with those three main sites, we're gonna build social media profile uh, followings, I should say, not just profiles, but we're gonna actually actively build followings on those sites. So we're gonna build followings on Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Um, we're also going to be doing YouTube videos for those sites. So we're already doing that, of course, or I should say Ben has already been doing that on My Backyard Life. Um, we already have channels on sites number one and two, but they only have, you know, a dozen videos or less on each one. We haven't published a single video on those channels in over a year, but we're going to actively start uh, producing video content for those sites as well. Um, then on top of that, we are building email lists. And I don't know if we'll build an email list on my backyard life. Haven't decided yet. That site's very broad, um, whereas our first two sites are a lot more focused. Um, so if we do go down that path with my backyard life, we're going to have to do some list segmentation. Um, so it makes it a little bit more complicated. So I don't know if we're going to do that or not. So we're going to start out with sites number one and two. Uh, we've already started those email lists just over the last few weeks here. So we've built an automated sequence of roughly seven to 10 emails. We're taking a different approach on each site to see what works. Um, so on one site, we're going to be um, basically have a welcome sequence of like seven to 10 emails that um, tries to push a digital product at the end of that sequence. So and there's actually two digital products that are going to be pitched within that sequence. And then the other site we, we are not going to build a digital product at this point in time, but we're going to pitch affiliate um, landing pages instead. So basically we have a welcome series, helpful content with a couple of emails that drive back to our traffic that have affiliate based landing pages that are still helpful to the uh, reader. Um, but we'll see because it'll be warm traffic instead of cold traffic at that point in time. Um, but there will be affiliate links in there and we'll see if we can make some money off of affiliate links. So those are the two approaches that we are taking. Um, and obviously there's benefits to building social media followings and um, email lists as you as you get new traffic sources, right? So you get traffic sources that are not touched by Google algorithm updates. Same thing with YouTube um, as well, but YouTube is owned by Google, so something to keep in mind. Um, but that's not the main reason, or at least that's not the only reason that we're going down these paths. We also want to increase what I think is probably the most important thing that would be branded searches. So a branded search would be if somebody goes to Google they type in my backyard life recipes. So in my opinion, that's gonna be something that's a very strong signal to Google that this is a legitimate site. And that's something that can kind of set you apart from your competitors, especially from the AI sites. So that's something that you can get as you expand your brand, build a social media following, just basically build awareness around your brand out there so people know your name. So this is not gonna be an overnight thing. This is gonna be an ongoing thing over years. It's not gonna be easy by any means, but that's one of our goals is to increase the amount of branded searches that we have across our site. Um, aside from that, um, we are also going to be shifting, shifting to higher quality content. So we are moving all of our outsourced content over to Content Pit um, starting in January. So I've talked about Content Pit a lot in the past. They are definitely our, fav our, our favorite writing service. Um, it's almost always high quality content, very rarely have an issue. And whenever we do, we reach out and it's resolved right away. Um, their turnaround time is not the greatest. That's probably the, the only knock I have against them. But we're going to shift all of our content over to Content Pit. And that means we're going to be producing less articles a month. Um, but we're okay with that. Basically, we are narrowing down, going high, higher quality content, and then doing all the other things I talked about as well. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Content Pit, want to check them out, I will put an affiliate link in the description below that will have a 10% discount uh, for your first order as well. Um, on top of that, we're going to continue to try to do things to build topical authority. Um, so things like targeting clusters within our sites. So we've been doing this all year. If you go to my backyard life, you're going to see we are definitely targeting clusters now. And we're doing this across all six sites for sure, um, where we're kind of picking the topic and going all out on that topic. Um, and then we are doing a lot of heavy internal linking within those articles. Um, and the way we do internal linking, which I've talked about in other videos, we don't try to build like silos and all that kind of stuff and like target like a certain page or anything. Uh, basically, we just do internal linking wherever it makes sense. If it makes sense to link from A to B, B to C, C to A, whatever. We just put those links in there. That's how we do it. We think that provides the most value to the visitor. Um, maybe that won't help us the most with Google search, hard to say. Whatever the case, we try to build everything that's gonna help the visitor because we think at the end of the day, that's what Google wants to see anyways. 
Um, and I will just say that all the stuff that I'm talking about is going to involve a lot of experimentation. Uh, we don't have all the answers on this stuff. Um, we've obviously not been good at digital products in the past. We've only, we only have one digital product. Now we have a couple, we built another one, but we really only had one digital product. We did not promote it at all on our sites. We just got a trickle of um, revenue from it simply from having one little banner ad on our site that goes to it. Um, so we're going to do things to try to improve that. We've never gone down this path of building an email list and writing helpful emails. Uh, we did build email lists maybe a year or so ago. I talked about it in some of our income reports, but what we were sending out in those videos uh, or in those emails, I should say, was basically a recap of our most recent po posts. And that was it. So you'd open up the email it was like a visual of here's our five latest posts or whatever. And people click through those did not do very well. Uh, a lot of them got marked as spam. Click through rate was terrible. So when we do our email list this time, we're actually handcrafting every single email. So we're gonna have one person that's dedicated to site one, one person dedicated to site number two. And if we go down that same path with my backyard life, then of course Ben would be the one writing those emails. And they're gonna be writing helpful emails each month, probably maybe two a month or something like that. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But I think we're gonna have a lot better success doing it that way than trying to do something more automated like we did in the past. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, just want to kind of talk about the two options you have, which is to either give up or not start. That would be option number one, depending if you have a site or not, or to adapt. And we are obviously going to try to adapt. Um, by no means do I think blogging is dead or web publishing is dead. I think it's going to keep going on and on and on. These things that happen, all the changes that happen that have happened in the past, they scare a lot of people. They put a lot of fear in a lot of people. Um, but fear creates opportunity, and that's the way we're trying to look at it. A lot of people are going to give up and quit. That opens the door for somebody else. So that's the path that we are taking. Um, so the last thing here to wrap up, uh, wrap up this video, just want to point out um, income report will be out in about a week. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, as of right now, that's probably going to be the last income report that I publish. So we've been doing this now, I think, for maybe a year and a half. Um, the main goal or the main goals with the income reports was to just show you what's possible and to help motivate people. I think we've accomplished that. I think at this point in time, those income reports are getting repetitive. Um, I don't like talking about the same thing over and over and over again. If I'm gonna produce videos, I'd like them to be a little bit more unique. So that's kind of my goal going forward. Um, obviously, we wanna spend more time focusing on our course as well. And then of course, putting all this time and effort into the things that I talked about throughout this video. So as of right now, that video will be the last income report that we put out. If I do decide to put more out in the future, they'll probably be in the written format and they'll probably just be occasionally, but um, not sure if I'm going to go down that road yet or not. So guys, that's all I had. Uh, best of luck to you guys in 2023. I really do hope for the best. Hope you guys didn't get hit too hard in 2022 either. So thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.